Well, last month, two women made Nashville history when they were sworn into Metro Council. Here on News 4, we told you about Zulfat Suara, who you see there. She became the first Muslim, Muslim ever elected to Metro Council. The other history-making woman is Sandra Sepulveda. She's now the first Hispanic woman ever to serve on council. She was 25 when she decided last year to run for office. Why she chose to do it is the story in today's For Your Community. By day, Sandra Sepulveda works four campaigns. Hey, Jeff, how are you? By night, she runs her own. The 26-year-old who grew up in Nashville's southeast side now represents the district she's always called home. Why is a 20-something? Why do it now? Why not wait? Well, they told me to wait. <laughs> a lot of people said, you know, wait your turn. Um, I just couldn't. Sandra is the daughter of immigrants, the first person in her family to graduate college. Her struggle connects her to the nearly 30 percent of people living in this section of Nashville deemed at or below the poverty line. Our family struggled a lot. We never had much money, um, but we always had food on the table. Um, and I wanted to make sure that people who were going through that had a voice. Already, that voice is loud and clear. So John, who lives in my district, lives right up the street over there. And Where's I, the sidewalk? Yeah, exactly. There's none. And as you can see, there's like heavy traffic. Right. Um, and then he has to cross this intersection. What happens if a man who's legally blind tries to cross the street? Drone 4 shows the intersection at Wallace and Nolensville Pike. Recently, it's been the site of deadly accidents with pedestrians. It's something Sandra hopes to change with her role on Metro Council. Do you think people just have forgotten yeah. about Southeast Nashville? I, a lot of people have been forgotten here, um, and that's actually the word they use. And, and it's difficult. It, it is difficult because I, I have lived here since I was five, and I feel forgotten. <laughs> It's hard for us to say someone's listening and someone cares. But that's exactly what she's trying to do now, through meetings with the very people she represents. Her role as the first Latina on council is getting noticed, and she hopes it's a spark that moves families like hers forward. Immigrant children, they're taught that you have to do better um, so that your parents' sacrifice wasn't for, for nothing. I, I hope that, that I was able to live up to that. I think she is. Sandra told me she never aspired to run for public office, but after seeing so many people struggle in her neighborhood, she decided she had to do it.